here two sets are given with six and eight elements and we have to find the number of constant functions from a set of six elements to, to a set of eight elements. In order to solve this problem, first of all we, we have to know what is a constant function. A constant function is a function in which range is, range is some constant. Let us say so f is a function from set A to set B and if all the elements of set A map to single, single element of set B then f is a constant fun function. Let us take an example. If set A contains elements like 1, 2, 3, 4 and set B contains elements like 5, 6, then if A to B is a, if A to B is a constant function, then all the elements of set A should map to, should be associated with only single element of set B. So here all 1, 2, 3, 4 should map either to 5 or to 6. So this is a constant function. In this question, it is given that set A consists of 6 elements. Total we have 6 elements in set A. And set B consists of 8 elements. So up to 8. So here we have to find the number of possible constant functions. So for here all the elements of A can map can map to either 1 or 2 like that total 8, eight ways are possible. So here the number of constant functions is 8. So here correct option is option B. In short we can say if A contains N elements and B contains m elements then the number of constant functions from a to b would be number of elements in b so here b contains set b contains eight elements so the number of constant functions is eight so here correct option is option b question sum of degrees of all vertices in a graph is given as 20 and we have to find the number of edges in the graph. In a graph there is a property which states that sum of all degrees is equal to 2 into number of edges. Sum of all degrees is equal to 2 into number of edges. Here sum of degrees is given as 20 which is equal to 2 into number of edges. It implies number of edges is equal to 10. So here correct option is option a. S2 ASB, S2 AS, S2 BS, S2 small a, S2 small b, the language generated by the above grammar is. So these are the productions of the grammar. We need to find out uh, what type of language this grammar generates. The options are type 3, type 2, type 1 and type 0. Type 3 is regular, type 2 is a context free language, type 1 is context sensitive language, type 0 is recursive or recursive enumerable set. So this belongs to which one of these following types. Here uh, the productions given are S2, ASB or AS or BS or small a or small b. So here we need to define the language first. If the given language, uh, defined language is uh, belonging to regular language for example, then it will be type 3. Otherwise it is type 2 or type 1 or type 0 like that. So we need not to uh, depend on the, the format of productions here. We need to find out the language generated by this grammar first. So the smallest string that is generated is small a. Small a is generated, small b is generated and if you take 2s will come because we can take s to as. S can be derived with small a. 2s you can get, 2b's you can get. So minimum length is 1 that is a or b. If you take the production uh, asb, this s can be replaced with any combinations of s and b's. So we can have something like a followed by a plus b whole plus followed by b or this a s or a b s or b will generate any combination of s and b's it will be a plus b whole plus 
So totally, it has got all the combinations of A's and B's with at least one A and one B occurrences. So that it will be A plus B whole plus. It is a regular expression. So that the regular expression exists. It is a regular language. So that it will be a type three language. Option A is the right option here. The following language is not context free. Option A. A power n, b power n, c power m, d power m, such that n comma m starts with one. Option B. A power n, b power m, c power m, d power n, such that m comma n greater than or equal to one. Option C. A power i, b power two j, c power j, d power two j, such that i comma j greater than or equal to one. D. A power i, b power j, c power i, d power j, i is equal to j. Here, uh, a language can be a context-free. Uh, there exists a CFG. Context-free grammar must exist, and uh, that language should be recognized by the pushdown automata. Then it is a context-free language. Otherwise, it is not a context-free language. Let us see how A will be recognized by the CFG or uh, PDA. Here, A's and B's must be equal, and C's and D's must be equal. A's and B's followed by C's and D's. So we need not to maintain the count of A C is equal or B C D is equal. Both may be different. First, we will push A C into stack. Using B C, we can pop that A C. Again, we can start pushing C C, and using D C, we can pop those C C, so that we can get empty stack and language will be recognized. Or else, we can write the grammar like this: S two A B, where A generates A power n, B power n, B generates C power m, D power m. So here, A gives A A small b or A B. Uh, b can give c b d or c d so that a is concatenated with b we will get a power n b power n followed by c power m d power n so that it can be recognized by the pda so it will be a context free language next option b is a power n b power m c power m d power n here a s and d s both are equal b s and c s both are equal for this also we can define a grammar like this Yes, to A S T or A A D and A to B A C or B C. This is the grammar for uh, the language given in the option B. So whenever you want to stop A S and D S, we can make use of the A A D production. And whenever you want to stop uh, the A S and D S and start with B S and C S, we can take this B A C production so that the C F G exists for this. And similarly, when uh, context free grammar is existing, we can convert that into normal form, that is grey back normal form, and then that can be converted into P D A. If P D A exists, it is a context free language. So option B is also context free language. C, it is similar like uh, option A, but here uh, A S B S are double the A S. So now A power I followed by B power two I. C power J followed by D power 2J. We can push two elements for each of the A into stack. For each B, one element can be popped so that you will get the empty stack. Again, you can start pushing C's into stack. That is, for each C, some two elements can be pushed like this. And using this, each one element can be popped so that you can get the empty stack. C is also context-free language. It can be recognized by PDA. In option D, A power I, B power J, C power I, D power J, I is equal to J. When i is equal to j, we need to maintain all these four elements equal. That is not possible. We can maintain using PDA with one stack, only two elements. That's why we can't recognize this language with the pushdown automata. So it is not a context-free language. Option D is the correct option here.